Hello Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we are introducing Pace Partners. So Pace Partners have been part of cycling now for a few weeks and they're very popular. In running, uh, they've introduced Pace Partners now in the four groups that we're used to when we do group workouts. Uh, so you've got Group A, Group B, Group C and Group D. All of them run at different speeds, uh, so there should be a pace partner to suit you. Let's jump in to Zwift and have a look at uh, what they look like and how to join each pace partner. So let's start off with how to get to join a pace partner. Basically, you log into Zwift as you would with any other session until you get to the screen where it says run. Normally you would just press run or sometimes you might go up to training and choose a workout. Sometimes you might want to run with one of your friends. So you would go to where it says run with and you could choose one of your friends that is currently running on that particular world and join them. Well, Pace Partners works in exactly that way. Pace Partners will be listed at the top there and you can click on that and it will take you to choose which Pace Partner you want to run with. So we press run with Dax Diesel and after a few seconds we're into Watopia and you've got to get your treadmill up to speed because you've only got a couple of seconds grace and Dax Diesel will be off and away. Uh, so make sure that your treadmill is up to speed. Uh, Dax Diesel here is running at around 7.2 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's a little bit slower than the advertised pace. But as long as, you're, as long as you're there or thereabouts the right pace when you join him, uh, you should be able to then speed up or slow down and then run with Dax Diesel for as long as you want. The pace partners run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So let's now go and join Cara Cadence. Cara Cadence is the Group C pace partner. So she's running at around about nine to 10 kilometers per hour. We're not entirely sure whether there's going to be any variation in pace. When I ran with the pace partners, they seem to be staying at one pace. However, um, for Dax Diesel and for Cara Cadence, the paces were actually slower than the advertised pace. So let's go and join our Group B pace partner. So this is Billy Benoit, Billy Benoit. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> But uh, Billy runs in Group B, so this is a pace of around about 11 to 12 or 10 to 12 kilometers per hour. Again, I'm not sure whether they change pace or whether they just stick solely at one pace. Billy seemed to be running a little bit faster than her advertised pace, but as long, again, as you're around about the right pace when you join, set your treadmill up first to run at the right speed and then click Run with Billy and you'll join Group B and then hopefully you'll be able to keep up. Now at the moment, uh, pace partners are very new, so there aren't really many other people running, but the idea is that in future, lots of runners will join the pace partners. And so if you haven't got a group workout or a group run that you can join at the particular time you want to run, there should always be a group run happening behind one of the pace partners at your particular pace at the time that suits you. <laughs> So let's move on to our fastest pace partner now. This is our Group A pace partner, Alton Abel. Although I have seen on some posts that they have different names. Uh, let me know in the comments if your pace partner has a different name to mine. Alton Abel is my Group A pace partner. He's supposed to run, according to the advertised instructions, at between 12 and 14 kilometers per hour. When I joined, he was doing quite a bit quicker than that, 146 kilometers per hour, as you can see here. By the way, um, all the pace partners, although they run in Watopia, they're all running different routes around Watopia. So for example, Dax Diesel, uh, the Group D pace partner, he's running uh, around John's route. Um, Cara Cadence, Group C, uh, she's running around, is it Sand and Sequoias? I think she's running around. Um, group B, Billy, is running around, the Big Loop, nearly forgot. <laughs> She's running around the Big Loop. And, and Alton Abel in Group A is running around Dust in the Wind. Uh, so you'll find them all on different courses, different routes around Watopia. Anyway, that's Alton Abel running uh, rather faster than the advertised pace. He's running at 14.6 kilometers per hour. Uh, so 
who knows whether they'll change paces or not. And that's it for this episode of How to Run on Zwift. I hope you found it useful. Go and join those pace partners. Remember, there's one for you at any time of day. 24 hours a day should be running at your pace. And once we get a few runners on there, you'll have a good group run to join any time you like. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you for another episode of How to Run on Zwift very soon. Bye-bye.